up in the top right in the blue. Our Terran player, he needs to win two in a row. It is Maru. Down the bottom right, you have the player up two games. It is CJ here, sitting on match point, knocking out previous champion of season one. It's pretty insane to think about. Um, craziness, Valdez, especially because it's Maru in this matchup. Yeah. It's a scary thing. One thing we didn't really talk about too much was how much Maru has been playing uh, so many of these TPPs against top Protosses these days. and Maybe Heroes just had a lot to go over and decided that the way he's playing now is the way to deal with it. His first game, he looked kind of off with defending the drops, but I think once he got into form and into his groove, he's looked so much better and somewhat unstoppable, especially like in the turning point midway through the second game. Saw him really click, start to do a lot of damage and defend all the drops pretty flawlessly. Mm. Took that game, took game three very nicely, very cleanly. Yeah. And now, you know, what is Maru to do? What it's a is hard he place. No, it's tricky when your, your style is essentially being figured out finally after all this time. And yet Maru's, Maru's TVP has been broadcasted like so many times more than his any other matchup. Mm -hmm. Uh, more than most Terran's TVP, and it is such a unique style that I guess there is, is always going to be some counter to it, and when it happens, what is Mario going to do? Is he going to start to really change things up a lot? We're already seeing that with a very yeah. early CC. This is definitely a mix-up. Yeah. Um, no gas so far, so this isn't even like, I mean, I suppose you could put it down here in a minute. But I'd be surprised if he did. I think it should be the, the maybe two or three seas, uh, three uh, racks, you know, yeah. that defensive style. It is up against someone who's always going to open blank. Yep. And there it is. Very smart. Just mixing it up. Um, for him to go CC first into, you know, racks and then gas would be incredibly greedy. Would also give him that pressure with a faster CC, but not sure it's worth it. Definitely like the mix up. Yeah, I think it's pretty important at this point. There we go. Three racks is going to be the choice. Safety choice, safety first, getting out healthy number of fire before anything can really come your way. And it's going to be up to here to figure this out, see what he's going to react with. Yeah. Will he mix it up? That's the question for me, you know. The next Does Hero decide, you know, I, I won those two games using a pretty similar style, but do I decide to do it again, or do I just try to mix it up here in a best of five? Because he does have one game to lose before we're going to game five, but that also is a scary place. Yeah, well, I, I think, you know, why why change it up? It's just working so well. It's similar to your normal style that you've been doing for so long. You're going for those upgrades, the Colossus Gateway Heavy Army, you know, kind of skimming out on the, the Storm a lot. But you're, you're adding in these DTs, which creates so much more pressure creates him to, to use scan so much more often, so his economy isn't as strong as it might be, and it, and it makes it just a lot harder to commit on the map without any sort of like, uh, you know, raven or ghosts or anything else. I, I think I, it would be the best option to just do the same thing one more time, and if it gets figured out this time, then you change it up in yeah. game number five. I like what you're saying, Moonglade. I agree with you. You feel it out, you know. What is your answer going to be this time, Mario? Like, are you going to play more of the same? Are you going to run into that same sort of hurdles once again with the DTs? Maybe even Storm again? You're going to play a different game. But look at this. Whoa, very <laughs> quick DT this time around. That's definitely one way to mix it up. And if you notice the positioning on it, it is in the natural so that it cannot be scanned. Nope. It's a very hard map to scan. There's a lot of room in that main. And if you put it in the natural also, it's it's going to be hard to catch, you know, most of the main, but also a, a little piece of the natural. So I'm loving what Hero is doing on this map. Looks like Maru is putting down that engineering bay. Let's see if he puts down a safety turret. He's going to scan here. He's going to see that Twilight cancel. Not much else. So he's yep. going to simply play it. Let's see if he throws down a safety turret. He will into yes. the natural once again. Very smart. I, I think, you know, Mar, he's like, I cannot afford to lose to DTs. I see a Twilight Council. I don't see anything else. I have to put it down. Okay. There's a nice uh, proxy pawn on the left side of that natural. The other thing, the other scary thing for Maru is if he leaves his natural completely undefended like we're seeing right now. <laughs> that might be the one other thing that just might get him Valdez. Yeah, I mean, you, you can have a turret for detection, but you need something to kill the DT. 
If we see multiple DTs, maybe two or three, you could just DPS down that turret. Or you could simply just run past it, as we are going to see only one Marauder be in place for it. Oh my god. Look wow. at this, some aggression is going to come on from this bio. But there should be a Photon Overcharge here in the natural. There should be, but it's so out of position right now. This is actually going to give him a great opportunity to either commit to the main base after the Photon Overcharge, as we're seeing right now. Oh, man. And but there's a DT warped in. It's going to help out so much. Scan is going to go down here in the main. Oh. Not sure if he even got it. No, it's going to get out of the range of the scan. It is. And he doesn't have another one to use here. More DTs warped in for the defense. Oh, second scan going to be the one to clean it up. 15 probes go down to the four SCVs. Mm. Not bad. Yeah. Mar definitely in a good position. I mean, he's got that CC so much faster compared to other games. We do have Blink on the way, though. And a decent number of gates. I think he's got three up at this point. He just took out a large number of bio. Could decide to go for some kind of counterattack. We see him moving out on the map. Maybe make an Archon. Or maybe just, like, snipe some of these missile turrets and just use the DT straight up. Yeah, he could do that. Wouldn't be a bad choice. Maybe he sees uh, Mari move out again. More Prism on the map now. And that Robo Bay on the way. So he's going to transition to that normal style. Here he is catching up mm -hmm. and uh, improved oh. once again. We're seeing a second Twilight Council come through. It's definitely a mistake because he's already got Blink almost complete. Oh, yeah. That is interesting. wonder if that was meant to be a fast Templar Archives. Uh, I think you might be right. I don't know, actually. Would he really commit to Robo Bay and Templar Archives off two bays? That's another question. It would definitely be a huge mix-up, that's for sure. It'd be a mix-up, but it, he just wouldn't have enough gas for it either. But this is, like, straight up. I don't think you can really... I don't know, like, this just doesn't make any sense. He's already got DTs and Blink finished, and he still makes that second Twilight Council. I think maybe just the nerves getting to him a bit. Yeah, well, it's like DC to BT. It's a big jump in key, so... I I guess, I guess maybe he's just a little tilted right now, Valdez. That's that's the assumption I'm going with. Yeah. A little bit of trouble. Now double drop going to be heading his way. He did sp uh, spot it with his DT. He could try and run into that natural. Oh, he's just going to move in with one DT into the main. Some bio nearby to deal with it. He's going to pick up four kills. Five kills, not bad. Drop has been set. There is one Colossus, four Stalkers in this natural. He could stim in, take it out with four Marauders. Not going to try this yet. Going to go for the Shrine instead. Very smart choice. I love it. It's going to be so expensive to remake that. The Shrine was in a place to hide it from scouting oh. early on from scans. And look at that blink. Uh-oh. Ambitious, that's for sure. He's going to lose maybe two, three Stalkers from this. Oh. Ooh, that saves two of them very low. Double blink. In terms of economy, the, the probes outnumber the SCVs once again, so here is made up for it. We did see here, I believe it was that second game, with so many probes but still come back pretty flawlessly. Mm. I'm gonna see a big drop coming in. Scanning. Looks like he's thinking about flying straight in. Oh, he wants it. He wants to do it. And he's gonna. Here we go. Huge drop coming in, three of them. Snipes down one Colossus, gonna go for another one. It goes down, third Colossus in danger, gonna get it. Wow, he's gonna suicide everything for it. Can he keep these medivacs alive? Doesn't look like it. Very smart from here. Yeah. So Maru just straight up trading what he had to trade with three Colossi. I guess that's worth it. <laughs> it's hard to say, because he's wrapping at, he lost like three medivacs and all his bio for it. But, yeah. Uh, he did reset the Colossus count, which is also a very dangerous thing going into this mid to late game. You don't want to just simply uh, keep that on the map. The less uh, AOE you're dealing with, the better. Yeah, for sure. I wonder if he took note of where that robotics facility is also, because it's pretty close to that ledge. He could uh, drop it. Uh-oh. Hero going to catch a medevac. Trying to snipe some more units. Really nice striker there. Saves that Marauder. All right, so he lost at least a medivac and a couple few bits of bio there, but nothing too critical. I don't think he scattered that warp prism on the map, which is what spotted the uh, medivacs. I'm seeing a very similar situation in the body research game, where Mard tries to make a turret, but it gets canceled by one zealot. 
also the upgrades um, slightly ahead for Hero, the 2-2 at least. Hero going to catch out this left drop once again. I think Mario's simply going to trade with it for now while this drop rip makes its way around to the natural. Oh, he's going to simply stim in. I think he's going to go for the Nexus. This could be a big <laughs> hit. Oh boy. Colossus out of position. Photon overcharge will go down. And Mario's actually just going to back off. Wow. Doesn't want to commit to it. Fair enough. Look at the two observers chasing that. <laughs> two observers in the DT. <laughs> and a war prison. Hero is on top of Mario right now. It looks like he is going to be going for a big counter attack, but I think Mario's going to be pretty happy that he did go for that big committal and wiping out the Colossus. There's only one with his army. And look at that concave. Ooh, Hero cannot fight right there. Oh, look at this Colossus. Where is he? He's all alone. Oh. Uh, Big mistake, and he's gonna flink forward, but that's a lot of marauders. DT might be the turning point. That will be the one thing it looks like he hasn't noticed just yet, but Maru, he does take out that Colossus and Where takes out the rest of the Protoss army. Yeah, he's got multiple scans for this as well, just deciding not to commit to it just yet. Any moment now. <laughs> okay, there we go. Might get a observe as well. Hero trying to kind of boost out the 2 2. Will be considerably far ahead of Maru's. Yeah, but that's the only thing he's going to be far ahead of. Look at the supply. He's essentially down 20 supply at this point. And Mario's looking to end it. He wants to boost on top of maybe the one or two maybe Colossi that he will have out by the time that army gets there. Should be two by the time he gets there. War Prism's going to possibly get caught out wow. this time as well. Oh, pay attention to it. We'll scout out the drop. It's the second time that's happened. Yeah. These units are just from our hero just being so smart. He is always on top of where Maru's going with these drops. Maru's army is incredibly scary right now. Hero cannot afford to fight in the middle of the map like this. So he's going to try at least while he harasses the, uh, the third base, actually. Maru going to turn everything around to that, surprisingly. Wow. So Hero buying himself more time to make some more Colossi, it looks. But at the same time, Maru finishes up his own 2-2. That just might be what he's been waiting for. All the scans going down. Doesn't want to waste all his scans, though. He's still going to be afraid of that DT tech. If it comes in at any point, it's going to force the army back. Well, did he remake that Dark Shrine? Or? Actually, no, he did not. Fell. That's good call. He doesn't have to be afraid at all anymore. Now he's going to be dropping into the main. Giant drop coming in here. Ooh. All right. Uh, it's going to be a hot position for Mario to really take full advantage of it. Yeah. going to try to get out alive instead. Get some probes, but Oh, coming in at the front here, too. Looking to trade with some Zealots. He's going to get them. Ooh. Nice mine hit. Rotate to that third while dropping into the main base once again. Oh, man. There's only one Colossus, two Zealots. Mario doesn't commit to it, though. Maybe that bio a little bit low. Yeah, they're in the yellow right now. They could actually commit on this Colossus, just being a little bit afraid. Up oh, 30 supply now. Maru not controlling this group. Looks like he's just trading with some zealots. Uh oh. Move commanding some of those units over there. Trying to multitask a little bit too much. Really nice split there against the Colossus. Will be forced back. Yeah, well, this is all happening. Another huge bio going across the map with multiple medivacs. Yeah. This could be the finishing blow. Mario did so much damage to the economy there in the main base. He killed around 22 probes or so. You guys can see in the top right exactly how many probes Hero is down. Looking to remake them right now, but he's got to be really scary about this follow-up. It's going to be hard-pressed. That is a tiny army compared to what we see from Mario. He's going to be attacking from multiple angles as well. Ooh, nice time warp slowing down the fire. And he might hold for now. Yeah, Hero saves three of his Colossi on the left side, fighting the right side with just gateway units. But a small group of mar Marauders coming in here. Oh, just not enough still. Too many Marauders. This could be wiping everything out. We might just see. Really nice micro there from Hero, but at the end it comes down to a numbers game. You can't micro this forever. <laughs> it's actually doing a pretty good job so far. Oh. <laughs> This is so cute. He's actually keeping this Colossus alive oh, for so long. It's on like one HP right now. Oh, but this Colossus over here, too far away from that war prism. 
Wait for Legacy uh, of the Void. <laughs> it's one shot away. GG. Maru is going to take game number four. And ladies and gentlemen, we are going to game five between Maru and Hero. Why not just go all the way? It was right the way the it was end. meant to be. Expedition Lost going to be the final map. Wow. What are you thinking about this map for this PVT coming in? Oh, I, I, I'd have to say it's Mario's choice, if any. And, you know, it's got that big backdoor area, which, which makes that multitasking, multi-strong harassment just that much better as well. So I, it's, I give it the advantage to Mario in this one. Mm. But at the same dropping. time, we did give the advantage to him and Bonnie Research Station. Drop the map there. I don't know. It's just, it's so close. So close between these two. I yeah. think it really just comes down to how well each player is going to play in this last game. Who's got the better mindset going into this? Hero looked a little bit tilted at the end of that one. Kind of just a big sigh out of him as he typed in the GG. Also, a couple nervous mistakes in that game. Um, the extra Twilight Council comes in comes to mind. That one didn't even make sense. Yeah. yeah. We were trying to, you know... <laughs> Rationalize it a little bit, but just a straight up mistake. No, just a straight up mistake. And yeah, now he's got his work cut out for him. We are seeing Hero defend so well above every, anyone else in this kind of uh, heated situation. Like, Mario's not getting the better of him in a lot of these harassments. So, Mario did some critical early damage, like we did see earlier in these series.